Hello Daily Drafters and welcome back to the channel for today's Daily Draft. We are back drafting Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth today as we have been for a while. This set is going to be out for a long time. It already has been out for a while but we've got plenty more drafts. I think I just did the math. We're going to have 26 or 27 drafts of this not including live stream. So we will on this channel have at least 30 or 40 drafts of Lord of the Rings. If you like watching draft content Daily Draft is the place to be. Go ahead and drop a subscription if you haven't already. Um, we are the place that will give you more Lord of the Rings draft content than any other place on YouTube that I know of. Um, am I the best player in the world? Absolutely not. But my motto here is I'm here to waste my gems so you don't have to. You get to see all sorts of drafts, all sorts of decks, all sorts of experiments on my money and not yours. So that's what we're here to do. Thanks for all you returning subscribers and new ones alike. And without further ado... Let's dive into today's draft. All right, here we are, and we do not quite have what I was hoping to draft today, which is blue-red spells, because we've got a bitter downfall, and we can't pass a bitter downfall. I don't care who you are, I'm not passing it. There's a birthday escape, there's a glorious gale, there's a torment, there's a war of the last alliance, there's a rosy cotton, all these are totally fine cards, but... When there's a bitter downfall in the pack, you take the bitter downfall, because black is the best color, and if you can cement yourself into black... It's a good place to be. Blue-red is a deck I still really do want to draft. But haven't found my way into it yet. Alright, Gorbag of Minas Morgul and Mordor Trebuchet. Only black cards to follow it up, except Old Man Willow. So we could take Old Man Willow, or we could take, like, Glorious Gale to go into, like, a blue-black control kind of deck. I've played that deck a lot. I haven't played a lot of green lately. You know, maybe we wheel in Rage Torn, and we just kind of do the thing. I love I love me a good Old Man Willow, and, you know, there's been a lot of Scuttle that green is unplayable. Maybe today we test that. Uh, I'm not going to test it when there's a Torment of Gollum in the pack, though. Torment and Bitter Downfall. Gotta watch the curve. We have, you know... Three straight four drops, which can't be good. There's a birthday escape as well. But we'll take the torment here and say, stay out of black, neighbors. Entish Restoration. Sack a land, search your library for up to two basic lands, put them on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. If you control creature power four or greater, do three. Can we do some sort of five color nonsense thing today? I'm feeling it. Maybe we wheel many partings, pick 12? Mm, stranger things have happened. Get ourselves a Woe's Pathfinder or two, and then just play all of the colors? I don't see why not. See? <laughs> Here's all the green. I guess we're playing green today. Many parting. Search your library for a basic land. Reveal it, put it in your hand. Shuffle and make a food. Probably going to take up as many of the um, the land cyclers as I can get as well. But yeah, we'll take many partings here. And, and just restoration plus many partings. You know, green, black, base, splashing, white, blue, and red. I don't see why not. The Gift of Strands, there's an Ents Fury, there's a Berserker, and a Desperate Rescue. Desperate Rescue is going to be good with Old Man Willow. Ents Fury as well. Stern Scolding, these aren't splash cards here. I think I might take the Rescue to start. I think we can get the, the Furies if we want them. And hello, <laughs> Entis Restoration number two. All right, this deck is going to be a colorful, colorful disaster at the end. <laughs> Currently only green and black, but many partings and double restoration tells us that we can, we can be doing all sorts of things with our mana here. If we want to, we don't necessarily have to. Birthday escape pick eight, fall of Gilgalad, another many partings. Butterbur. We could be like a green-black control deck, splashing some food synergies here. 
I'll take Butterbur as some food synergy as well. Gosh, birthday escape pick nine. Don't make me regret doing what I'm doing today. I guess I take Ents Fury. The Enraged Horn did wheel. So did Revive of the Shire. I think I'll take the Horn, though. Revive of the Shire only returns permanents. And right now we have two. <laughs> so I'll take another Raged Horn. It makes the Ents Fury better as well. Pick 12 we were looking to wheel a many parting. So we got two more picks there. Could even play an Inherit an Envelope in this deck. Get some ramp, too. Bag in Porter. There's a Wizard's Rockets. Bag in Porter makes the first End Fury pretty good. Who knows? I don't think I'm going to miss it, though. All right, we did wheel the many partings. Bombadil's Song. All right, green is open, as it usually is. What do we find here? <laughs> the rare is a whiff. There's Strider. That's probably a pretty good splash. There's also Dunedain Rangers, which is fine. And there's a Lorien Revealed. But I think we'll take Strider. Yeah, why not? Again, we've got all of the fixing in the world here. I'm gonna have to watch out on the four drops. <laughs> Alright, Bilbo... Ents Fury, Golem's Bite. I think we have to take Golem's Bite as an early interaction spell to get to all of this. And then maybe we wheel the Ents Fury. Yeah, let's take the Golem's Bite here. Another Torment as another 4-drop. Or Oliphant as a Splash. Not as a splash, but to help the Strider splash. Got Lash, which isn't great with anything right now. We've got Desperate Rescue. We already have one of those, though. I don't think I want another 4-drop, necessarily. So I'm going to take my first Oliphant here to enable the, the nice little red splash. Friendly Rivalry. What is our creature count looking at? Five? I mean, we already have... One Ents Fury. I could just take a random bag in Porter, but that's another four drop. I guess I'll take the Rivalry. Another Strider, a Frodo. A Revive the Shire, a Wizard's Rockets, an Inherit an Envelope. I think I take Frodo. Again, because of the 4-drop problem. Yeah, let's take Frodo here. This is going to be difficult to figure out <laughs> how to build this deck once we get to deck building here. Alright, well there's a troll. That's probably going to have to help us with land cycling here. Shire Terrace, I'd probably play one, but I think I'll take my first troll. Trying something new today, right? We're kind of at that point in the format where we've done most of the, the basic things, so let's, let's try something new. A second Strider, I guess, over all this random stuff. Four mana, four, four, landfall, plus one, plus one. And if it has power 4 greater, it gets first strike. Currently, we have Old Man Willow, Enraged Horn, Double Strider, Oliphant, and Troll. That all do just that. Alright, Sharky's a big nope. He's effectively 4 mana 2 4. Grey Havens isn't the right kind of fixing. Brandywine Farmer, maybe? Over the Guardian, I guess. I'll take the Farmer. I don't know if I'll play it, though. Rangers, but it's another 4-drop, but it's a good one. Sure. Ents Fury, Elven Farsight. We'll take the Fury here as more interaction. 
Would love to get some early interaction spells too. Gift of Strands, Pippin's Bravery. So we don't have any blue. All right, Revive the Shire, that's pretty good. Currently 10 creatures. Pippin, March from the Black Gate, Stew the Conies, another Rangers, a Lookout, a Lorien Reveal, but we don't have any blue we want to splash. All of our two drops, except Frodo and Gollum's Bite and Brandywine Farmer, none of that, you know, none of that really does what we want it to do. Um, they don't interact. Is Pippin good? That's a creature you want early, and I'm not sure we're going to get it early. I guess do the conies, or look out. I mean, maybe look out wheels. I don't think anyone's in green. Let's take do the conies here. Ooh. Legolas. Three mana, one, four. Whenever you cast a spell that targets it, put a counter on it. A spell that targets a creature you don't control, it deals damage to a creature. What are we targeting our opponent's creatures with? Double Ents Fury, Friendly Rivalry, Stew the Conies, Bitter Downfall. Okay, it's probably good enough. There's a Denethor we could take as well. Let's try out Legolas. See if Legolas is any good. All right, another Butterbur. And another Ents Fury. It's between these two here. Creature count at 11. Probably taking the Butterbur and trying to wheel the Ents Fury. Could take Lembus. Smeagol. 3 mana, 4, 2. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died under your control, the ring tempts you. Whenever it tempts you, you get to steal a land from their deck. There's also Peregrine Took. Maybe that wheels. Oh, there's a Woe's Pathfinder too. I have to take Smeagol. I know Woe's Pathfinder is good, but I have to take Smeagol. I can't take another Entish Restoration. That's irresponsible. <laughs> I could take Build a Pony as like my 15th 4-drop. Or I can take Eagles here as my first land cycler in white, which is the, I think what I will do. Take the Eagles... Another Strider, another Bag End Porter, Celeborn the Wise, probably not it. One Elf so far. Peregrine Took, okay, got it anyway. There's another Revive, there's a Mirkwood Spider, that would actually probably be pretty good in our deck. Legolas, no. Galadrim, Bow, I don't think I'm playing any of this. Dunedain Rangers, another Wizards Rockets. I don't think I'm playing a second Rangers here. Am I playing War Beast? I don't know, maybe. We got a lot of big creatures. Glorfindel, no, I think I'll take a second Troll or a third many Partings. Um, We could have been like mono green this draft. <laughs> Which wouldn't be very good. Let's take a second troll here. We could, even with all of the mana requirements we're going to have, we could run at least, or at most, 16 lands with this deck. We have four land cyclers here and too many partings. So very good. it's going to be quite easy to run, you know, 16 lands, I would think. Now the question is, what are we cutting? <laughs> Something here, more than likely. Got a Pathfinder, that's good. <laughs> I don't... This is going to be weird. Alright, deck building time. Let's see what we're doing here. So we're not, we're playing everything except blue. Fifty-one cards currently. 
going to try to get down to try to get down to 24 and run 16 lands with all these cyclers here. The only cycler we don't have for our colors is the green one, of course. We have a lot of creatures. I mean, we can be a creature-based deck here. Don't think we need the rockets. Sorry, the deck building in Lord of the Rings Limited has just taken... There's so many glitches here. All right, cut the wizard's rockets. Cut at least one of the songs. I don't know how much I need two Entish Restorations. Three Striders, they are legendary. The War Beast might actually be pretty darn good in this deck. I'll cut one Strider for that reason, I think. Still 15 creatures, 29. Cut one restoration. Probably cut a Butterbur. Revive the Shire? Probably don't need that as long as I have Sam's Desperate Rescue. Friendly Rivalry seems okay. Cut one more land? No, cut one more card here. Torment. I don't think I want to cut any of the creatures. I could, I could play 15 with this. I don't think I want to cut any more of the creatures here. What does my mana situation look like if I run 15 here? One more, so seven green, three black, but reminding you, kind of like five black because of the troll. And we have a Pathfinder, and we have double many partings. We only have Butterbur and Frodo in the deck, along with Eagle, so two is probably fine. We have double Strider, Friendly Rivalry, War Beast, and Oliphant, too. That's kind of like three. The second most common color for us is either red or black, and I think probably black. So this is like, look, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 lands with too many partings and four land cyclers. So it's almost like we're running 21 lands. Granted, we need a bunch of lands to get up here, but we should be able to do that. Because many partings basically acts as a land cycler that you have to cycle for a land every time. And then these will basically just be acting as lands in our deck, and if we end up flooding out, then great, we have another spell. Just have to hope we don't get run over by aggro. This will be an interesting one. Let's try it out. See you in game one after a quick message from me. Thanks, me. If you appreciate the content here on the channel, why don't you go ahead and head over to the Daily Draft Patreon page where you can find ways to give back with some incredible benefits included. I pride myself in my Patreon being incredibly affordable, beginning at just one singular US dollar per month, which comes with lifetime access to the Daily Drafters Discord server. I mean, what's one dollar? And for just $3, you can get access to the Discord as well as early access to every single upload on the channel. You'll see them as soon as I'm done editing. I mean, who doesn't love a good binge? And the most expensive level of support is just $5 US dollars. That's right, $5 is the highest level of support on my Patreon. And Patreons in this tier gain access to my expansive, exhaustive, and interactable tier lists. 
of which you can see a small sample of here. You get to see how I rate every single card in the set from A to F, whether or not the card has moved up or down since the last update, and you can hover over the card to see a clickable link that brings you straight to Scryfall. And I customize these tier lists for every single draftable archetype in the format. Looking to see how a card fits into blue-white as opposed to black-white? I got you covered. Again, all of these tiers are incredibly affordable, so go ahead and check them out. If a monetary donation isn't your speed, a subscription to the channel is always contribution enough. Thanks so much for your consideration. All right, we go first, and look, we kind of have a four land hand. Already have three of our colors. I don't think I'll cycle Oliphant yet. We don't have a reason to need a red right now. I guess now I might so I can guarantee either Torment or Willow on four. All right, we're out of red, that's fine. Okay, so they've got a counter spell here. So which would I rather get countered? Probably the Torment. Let's see if they have Saruman's Trickery here. Looks like they do. I knew they did. I'd rather resolve the Willow here. Probably play War Beast next turn to be many efficient. Following turn, if we draw another green, that could be scary. Yeah, let's go ahead and lead on War Beast. And now we just start beating down with big fat creatures. Next turn could play Peregrine Took and F Friendly Rivalry. Could play Legolas and Friendly Rivalry if we draw a green. Which would be pretty good, because... That's really annoying. <laughs> yeah, so we're just playing big fat creatures and they're just going to bounce them the whole game. That's going to be quite annoying. Alright, we did draw an extra green. Let's do this here. <laughs> Just bouncing every single thing we play. Go to seven. We're effectively at like zero, I guess. We're at seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can war beast and then friendly rivalry it down. I can't do all three of these. Whatever I play is getting bounced anyway. Alright. <laughs> or I could just, oh, I don't know, read the cards. Non-legendary, apparently. Wait. Wait. Target creature you control up to one, up to one other each deal damage you've equipped to their power. Okay, so then that was just a punt on my part. Because now they soothing, they hit us for three. I could have did it or something. I, I don't know, man. 
Because if I try to friendly rivalry, they bounce it in response, and then we lose. So. Why was it letting me... Let me just see if I can figure out here. So I submit zero. Okay, so it's because of the arena client. I was like, why can't I target that? It had to be non-legendary. All right. But no, it's just because the arena client was like, there's an extra step you have to click through to actually get to do what you want to do here. Oh, well. Okay, we got all colors of mana. One, two, three, and an Oliphant cycling for red. So... Suppose we'll keep it here. We'll kill something if we have to. We'll cycle if we don't. Play Pathfinder on two, and then off we go. That has Ward 1, so... Can't do anything about that. Could have used Gollum, but Gollum's Bite to get rid of that, but I can do that next turn. No plays, you say. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if they counter it. Looks like they will. And then... Pass... And then lose to the combo here. So I can cast Strider, which theoretically holds back their whole board here. I can cast Torment. I can't do... Yeah, I think I have to do... Many Partings and Torment here. Gotta look at their hand real quick to make sure they got... Nothing too bad. And of course they've got... Everything too bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. If I don't get rid of Isolation, next turn I just play Strider, they just Isolation it, and then, like, we have nothing. They've got Scroll, which can deal some damage to us, but... Yeah, I have to get rid of the Isolation, I think. They're gonna use Scroll and then hit us for five again. Steal our food, sack it. Yeah. But we need our board presence is the issue. So now... We do this. And then we kill Pippin. Yeah. 
Okay, they'll put stun counters on these two, hit us for four, go to nine, and now we have to draw something. <laughs> and now they can draw five cards over the course of the next two turns. <laughs> so we lose. Not exactly what we needed there. Alright, draw two. Go up to six cards in hand. We have effectively zero. Okay. Now we have flyers. Take one, go to eight. No, don't die next turn, I guess. Close to. Doesn't have vigilance, does it? No. Oh, I don't even have the loot. <laughs> Thought I had the loot. Oh well. It doesn't really matter. I think we're just... We're losing this game hard. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hi, huh, I'm not dead. All right, let's try to avoid the O3. All right, we go first and we've got all the colors. Um, we'll see if it's enough to win a game. Don't play Rally. Okay, good. Okay. Guess we gotta hope Butterbur survives. Don't think he will. They're playing red white. So here comes the Smite the Deathless. And then we're out of gas. <laughs> Esquire, sure. Glam drain, probably fine. Yeah, I love lands, in case you couldn't figure that out. Oh, no, 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 stop. Oh well. 
meant to sacrifice the food before the end of the turn. That way we could have gotten another one. What does this do? Plus one plus O oh for each instant sorcery card in your graveyard and first strike. So one right now? Again, as I usually say when things don't go well, <laughs> here I like to post every single thing that I do, every single draft that I do, win or lose, because you probably don't have the guts to try out this kind of deck with your own money and your own gems. So that's what I'm here for, am I right? <laughs> I get to go 03, so you don't have to. Um, so that's, that's what I'm here doing, is trying things out, doing some different kind of stuff, just because... Yeah, why not? Guess we'll play War Beasts. Errand Rider, draw a card. Okay. Glam Drink still only gives plus one plus so. I guess that can make Faramir attack. And that can make that attack too. Eating that now so I can get another one from Butterbur here. Do I kill Bitter or do I kill Faramir now? I think I will. Again, as long as it can't deal with Butterbur, we're we're gaining three every single turn. Rally still holding up Esquire here. Now for oh yikes. Okay. That's the best I've seen this card be. 7-3 First Strike Haste Vigilance. Probably didn't want to do that. Oh, I see. <laughs> Okay, sure, sure. We're gonna have to start chumping this stupid errand rider. Do we have another removal spell in the deck? Anywhere? That can get back to Eagles of the North, which is gonna have to do. <laughs> An 8-3 first strike. One, two, three, four. So this is giving plus four, plus oh, and first strike right now. That makes everything a pretty big problem over there. Can swing for 12. And of 
course we dump one of the better creatures. And again, I ate the food. I probably shouldn't have eaten the food. Just if I was going to attack like this. Again, because they could just re-equip that glam drain and just keep going to town. Alright, now they go to eight. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. They can deal seventeen to me right now. Or sixteen. Or fifteen, because this can't attack. Yeah. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15 right now. They're dead on the backswing, but I'm sure they have something to get out of it here. Shadow facts they got rid of? 15. Can they deal an extra 6 damage to me with 4 mana? I'm just going to bet no. Maybe they can, I don't know. What do they got now? Nothing. So, a creature? They have to have two removal spells here, or a removal for War Beast. If they remove the War Beast, I amass two and make a Legolas. I chump. I eat. I'm still not dead. I have food here, so... See what it is. Probably wanted to do that to my face, but that does save them. Butterbur's been the MVP against Red White. <laughs> that means we win. Hey, we did it. <laughs> we actually managed to win a game with this interesting deck. <laughs> All right, we go first. We have green, green, white. Boy, is it slow, but that is what our deck is, if not slow. <laughs> What a curve. <laughs> Ooh, didn't want to do that. You'll see why. Oh, okay. Yeah, they can't block it. All right, gonna need a land. And preferably a land of certain types. Crusher. Okay.
Okay. Guess that means I fixed the rest of my colors at least. <laughs> Is it too little too late? Probably. Black and a red here. So this has to be blocked. I mean, I don't really have anything else I'm doing with it, I guess. I'm killing their 1 1s. They have the counter spell. Here comes Glorious Gale. Yep. Okay. Probably just should have played Strider there. Could have traded it off. They would they would have countered it anyway. Another rally. Making my life mega difficult. Don't think I'm attacking this time, even for the loot. My plan is probably to block the Crusher with Frodo and then Bitter Downfall. Now, if they kill Frodo, then I'm just dead. The prevalence of counter spells and bounce in this format, I think, is what makes green as bad as it has been. Because every time I played my four and five and six mana green cards, they're just like, bounce it for two mana. And I'm like, um, I can't really do anything about that. <laughs> This is not showing as cheaper right now. There we go. There's another bounce spell. See? Just play a four mana creature, they bounce it, and they hit me again. And actually, they bounce it, and then they kill me. My many partings for a green. I play Butter Burr. They're gonna bounce it. I Golems bite their 2 2, take 3 down to 2, but I get a food out of the deal. Or do I just do the same thing with Strider? I know they're going to bounce it. No matter what I do, they, they're bouncing. So I'm going to two.
Okay. Do they have a combat trick to kill me? Maybe. No, go to two. Died a ranger's firebrand? No. Alright, so we eat the food, we play Butterbur, and keep trying to make food. <laughs> and then survive off the back of Butterbur not dying? Okay, that's good news. Got rid of Stern Scolding. Now what did they draw? Another Smeagol's whatever? Ah. A way to kill us. Nice. Alright, so the deck was horrible. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> Don't do what I did. Um, yeah, what I found in, in like, multicolor decks in this format, especially multicolor green, it's like, there, there's no reason to be splashing. Like, what are, what are the cards we're splashing for here? A Butterbur? Striders, which just got bounced every single time we played it. We never drew Smeagol. We never drew Ents Fury. We never drew, well, we drew Friendly Rivalry once, and then the, the client made us pass our turn. <laughs> every time we play War Beast, they just bounced and killed it. Um, yeah, I mean, there's too much bounce in this format for all these big fat creatures to work. Maybe you need to be playing more bounce in your deck. You know, we even have a smooth soothing over here in our sideboard. So, one and three, horrible showing, but now you know not to do it. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time for your daily draft. Yeah.